Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you what is auto wiring in Spring Boot. So let's start. As you can see, it's injecting dependencies automatically. Auto in auto wiring means auto. So it will inject the dependencies automatically. If you have followed the previous video about dependency injection in Spring Boot, you should have known that there is something called Spring Container in Spring Boot, which manages all the bins and the object and dependencies inside it. So using auto wiring, you can have loosely coupled applications where the objects will not depend on each other completely. Rather, Spring Container will inject the dependencies automatically using auto wiring how it happens let's see hands on if you have followed my previous video you have seen what is dependency injection in spring boot you have seen that i have created a class named laptop and this laptop class was injected into the spring container and i have accessed the object of this laptop through spring application dot run function which is of type application context this is how dependency injection happens in spring boot the spring container automatically creates the object of the spring beans which we annotate with this add component annotation and spring container thinks that okay this class has an annotation component so this is a bean i have to create an object and give it to the user so i can access that object using context.get bean so this is lap a laptop bean and i have used the get bean function to get this laptop object and i have also showed you the output by running it so in this video i am going to talk about what is auto wiring suppose this is a laptop this laptop has a processor right so what if there is another class named processor and then the processor object needs to be injected into this laptop. So what we could have done is we could have made another separate class processor and we make an object using the new operator and we inject that inside this laptop. That is how we traditionally create objects and we inject into another dependency. So that is kind of tight coupling. Auto wiring helps us to achieve loose coupling. How to achieve it? let's see hands-on here i will create another class named processor let's finish creating that class and this processor will have a function run and here i will just type the name suppose the name of the processor is intel and let's save it let our laptop has a function named processor and this processor will have access to this function run of this processor class fine so what i can do is how to access this run function i will create a object of this class processor using the new operator Like this, I can access the object of this processor class and I can access the method inside this processor class. Previously, we have printed the laptop object. Now what I will do is, I will comment out this line and I will access the processor function of this laptop object and let's print it. As you can see it's printing intel so how the flow is going it's accessing the processor function of this laptop bin so the laptop object is already available in the spring container and we access that using the context.getbin function of the type application context and this laptop is calling the processor object from here so here we have used new operator to create the object of this processor suppose we remove this new operator and run the application again as you can see the error is coming null pointer exception cannot invoke this particular function because this dot processor is null so java by default initializes the processor object with null value but like this we cannot invoke the function run now to inject the processor bin into this laptop class what we have to do is we have to use the annotation at auto wired
let's import the attot wire annotation from this particular org dot spring framework dot beans dot factory dot annotation dot auto wired. So what at auto wire does is at auto wire is used by spring to mark a dependency which spring automatically resolves and injects into your bins. So let's see how spring automatically resolves the processor dependency into the laptop class. Let's save it. Let's run it. As you can see the error is coming field processor is of required type this particular so it cannot find the processor bean. What is the problem? The problem is this processor class is also a bean and we have to tell the spring container that okay spring container this processor is a bean please register its name inside the spring container and create its object. As we have seen in dependency injection every single class we have to annotate with add component annotation if we want spring container to create its object automatically. So for dependency injection we have to use the add component annotation. So after this add component annotation, the spring container will create the object of this processor automatically and using dependency injection, it will inject the processor component onto this laptop class and using the add auto wired annotation, it will achieve loose coupling in our application. So add auto wired is used to support loose coupling, which is a key principle in software engineering by injecting dependencies at runtime classes remain independent of each other, allowing for more modular and scalable code. Let's run the spring application.java class and see what's the output. As you can see the Intel is printed on the output screen so at wired annotation is working fine. Now what if I try to apply loose coupling here? As you have seen that we have a class called processor and we have injected that dependency into our laptop pin but processor can be of many types like Intel or AMD. So every time we have to change the name of the processor inside the processor bin, it's not an ideal way to do it. We can have a separate bin for Intel, separate bin for AMD and both will come under the processor. So we will have a processor interface. As we have created a processor class here, so let it be some other class named Intel. Let us change the name of this class, rename the file to intel.java and we will have a similar class of name AMD and we will have an interface here named processor and processor will have a function run which will be implemented by both the classes Intel and AMD. So we have this processor interface and AMD will implement this processor interface. Similarly, Intel will also implement the processor interface. We can see that we have this laptop and here the processor is auto wired. So let's see what's the output when we run the main function. As you can see, there is an error. The injection point has the following annotation required. So since the at auto wired annotation is here, in the laptop, we have to add auto wired annotation over the processor. Now the processor is an interface and it has two kinds of classes which is implementing it. But these classes are not components. So we have to annotate with add component annotation. Say goes for the Intel class. So we have now given the add component annotation. Let's see the output. Now, as you can see that it's telling there is an error. This may be due to missing parameter name information, multiple bins. So what is happening is there are two kinds of classes which are implementing the same interface processor. So Spring container cannot understand which class function to call either AMD or Intel. So we have to mark one as primary at primary annotation is used to indicate that it should be used as the primary candidate for auto wiring multiple bins with the same name that are present in the application context. So if above this AMD I give this annotation at primary, let's see what happens. See AMD is printed. So at primary annotation is used to indicate which 
bean I want to take as the primary bean inside the processor interface. So like this, we can have several different beans, but to mention which particular bean I want for that particular purpose, we have to annotate with at primary annotation. We have another way to indicate which bean I want, which is by using the qualifier annotation. So instead of at primary annotation, I am commenting it in the processor class or in the laptop class where I have, where I have auto wired it. I can just have the at qualifier annotation. So it will just indicate the qualifying bean. So I have to give the name of the bean which I want to enter in small letter starting with small letter. So AMD I can give or Intel I can give. As you can see the Intel is printed. So this is how we achieve loose coupling by injecting dependencies at runtime. In tightly coupled application, two or more components that interact with one another are dependent and must be present and functioning at the same time. Previously, what we had done is we just implemented the processor class on our spring container. So every time inside the processor class only we had to change the name of the processor, right? But now the processor is not tightly coupled with the uh, spring application rather it's loosely coupled because we can have number of classes which will implement this processor interface and we can annotate anyone as uh, the primary bean or we can use the at qualifying annotation to indicate which particular bean object I want and like that we can achieve loose coupling so the dependencies will be independent of each other and we can access any bean whichever we want so here the components can function independently to indicate which bin I want, I have to use at qualifier or at primary annotation. Now auto wiring is of three types by type, by name, by constructor. So the default way is by type, which we have used. Here I have used auto wiring by name since I have used the name Intel. So that qualifier annotation will auto wire by this name Intel. But previously when I have used just the processor class, that time I just used the at auto wire annotation without that qualified annotation. So that time it was auto wiring by type. And now I have used auto wiring by name. There is another type of auto wiring which is by constructor. So for the types of auto wiring I will make a separate video. If you like it share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.